and done my base I will link the video down below and show you how I do my base just in case you're wanting to see my routine but that will be linked down below so the first thing I'm going to be doing is applying a primer for my eyes and I'm going to be using the MAC paint pot this one is in the shade painterly this is my favorite eye base at the moment so I'm going to go ahead and take a rounded fluffy brush just to pick up the product and then with this I'm just going to pack this all over the lid all the way up to the brow bone I have already gone ahead and done my soap brows again that is all in my base video which will be linked down below so with this I'm just patting on the product and then swiping it into place I'm gonna do one eye at a time just because I think it's easier that way so of course I'll be using my Morphe X James Charles palette my favorite of all time and I'm taking the eyeshadow called Code James and with this colour I'm going to go ahead and just pack this into my crease. Small little brush strokes, we don't want to put too much pressure on because we do want to layer this. I'm going right in the inner corner all the way round and I'm going to keep this like a wing shape today. So I'm taking the eyeshadow and I'm going to sketch out really lightly where I want the wing to come out and then just apply that back into the crease and then connect to that wing and then just start blending the edge if you want to you can just go ahead with that and just layer in some more shadow just to make it more pigmented Next I'm picking up the eyeshadow called You're Kidding. I want to go back into that same area but a little bit down lower so you can see the orange transition shade above. I go in again with the same eyeshadow just to make it a little bit more pigmented and then I'm picking up the eyeshadow called Boutique which is a reddish brown and then with this eyeshadow I'm going to go again back underneath in that layering mode that I want and I'm just going to go back and forth this will just intensify the colour even more And layering eyeshadows always looks best rather than just one flat shade. Then I'm dipping back into the eyeshadow called Code James and that's going to go back over the edge just to make that a little bit more pigmented. Wipe the excess on a towel and then just blend the edge again. Then I'm dipping back into Your Kidding and that's going to go slightly underneath just to layer them together. And then I'm going to dip into the eyeshadow called Shook and this eyeshadow I'm going to pop all over the lid. Next I'm dipping into the eyeshadow called So Good and this is going to go on the inner corner of the eye. I'm 
Then I'm taking the eyeshadow code James. This is gonna go underneath the eye and then connect it up to the top wing. And then I'm gonna dip into your kidding and blend that over the top. And then finally, I'm dipping back into Boutique and that is also gonna go underneath. Then I'm gonna go back into Boutique one more time and that's gonna go right on the outer corner here. Just emphasize on that wing. I'm dipping back into So Good and that's going to go on my brow bone and just blend that into that eyeshadow underneath and then I'm going to pick up my E Unique Beauty eyeshadow palette I love this one, this is the Valentine's edition and you can pick from the website your customised glitters so I'm going to go with this reddish pink one here and that's going to go on the lid and it's a really pigmented glitter and then I'm just going to press this down onto the lid okay so next I'm taking the liquid lipstick from Deca Scarlet this one is just the red shade and it's called Siren the matte velvet lip color and this I'm actually going to use on my waterline just for a really vibrant red waterline because I think it's going to look really good so I'm taking my Acid Rain brush from P. Louise, the thin detail one. I'm just going to pick up that colour and this is going to go on my waterline. Next I'm dipping into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This one is in the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to stamp it with an angled brush. Just fill in my eyebrows just to give them more coverage because when I do soap brows on me they do go quite transparent after you've done the rest of your makeup so I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in now next I'm going to take the Ico Lash Alerts Mascara and apply these to my top and lower lashes And then next I'm moving on to the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to use this to contour my cheekbones and bring it back into the hairline. Bring it down at the sides of the nose and the tip of the nose. Also going to bring this round the sides of the temples and the forehead. And then for my blush today I'm taking the Benefits Sugar Balm Blush. And with this I'm just going to pick up with an angled brush and then apply this to the cheekbones. Again you want to blend that into the contour and then bring it back. And then for today's highlighter, I'm taking the Balm's Mary Luminizer. So I'm taking a fan brush and picking up the product and then blending this onto the cheekbones. This one's a really beautiful golden champagne colour. So I'm just blending that in to the blush and just like marrying the two products together. And then next I'm going to move on to my lips, so I'm taking this combo today. So I'm going to take the Essence Self Contouring Lip Liner in the shade Big Proposal and then I'm going to take the Dose of Colours Liquid Lipstick in Bear With Me. And then taking the liquid lipstick and just filling in my lips. Okay. 
And then last but not least in my eyelashes, so I'm taking the Just Right Beauty Unforgettable Lashes. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful in any way, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.